Hi friends, I am Ashish Chakravarti. Welcome to our channel Ganitantra. Here we will discuss some fun and magical part of mathematics which is not possible to teach in the classroom regularly. If you know the very basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division then you can easily enjoy this program and I am sure if you enjoy this program then you will start loving mathematics. So, let's start. Today we are going to learn magic square. What is a magic square? Magic square is a grid. Today we are taking the example of 3 by 3 order magic square. What do we mean by 3 by 3 order magic square? If there are 3 rows and 3 columns, it is a 3 by 3 order magic square. Next time we learn 5 by 5, 4 by 4 order magic square also. In the magic square, we allot some numbers in such a way that the sum of all the numbers row wise or column wise will be same. Take the example here. Take the example here. 4 plus 9 plus 2. If you add, the sum is 15. Similarly, 3 plus 5 plus 7, 15. 8 plus 1 plus 6, 15. Not only row wise, column wise also they will give the same result. 4 plus 3 plus 8, 15 and so on. Diagonally also if you follow, 4 plus 5, 9 plus 6, 15. So, in a magic square, the sum of all the numbers row wise or column wise or diagonal wise will be same. Now, how to make a magic square like that? By the way, here I would like to say one thing. The magic square grid you are seeing here, this is very important grid in numerology. The people who do numerology, they say this grid as low shoe grid, where all the sum will be 15. How to make it? There are three rules. Mainly, if you follow these three rules, you can frame any magic square of 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 or 7 by 7 odd number magic square. First rule and it is a fixed rule. You have to allot all the numbers diagonally downwards. How it is? If you think this is north part, south, east and west as per our map, then south, east, this way we have allotted all the numbers. You follow here? 4, then 5, then 6. This is the way we allot all the numbers diagonally downwards. This is the fixed rule. So we'll start from here. We have allotted 1. So according to the first rule or the basic rule, the next number 2 should be diagonally downwards. But there is a problem. What is the problem? Here the number is going out of the border line. If it is going outside of the border line, then we have to follow the second rule. We have to go to the starting cell. So where should be 2? 2 should be here, but it is outside of the border line. Then we should go to the starting cell here. We should see here, I have allotted 1 here, then what should be the next number 2? 2 should go to the starting cell 2. Now where should be 3? Our basic rule says it should be diagonally downwards, so 3 should be here. But again the same problem, the problem of point number 2, it is outside the border line. So we have to plot 3 where? At the starting cell. 3. Next number should be 4 diagonally downwards but here already it is occupied. If it is occupied there is no place we have to go for the last rule that is if no place shift upside. There is no place so we will shift upside 4. Right? So what is our first point? We have to plot always diagonally downwards. It's why 5 should be here, 6 should be here. I hope it is clear. 
if it is blocked if it is outside the border what is the second rule we should go to the starting cell here outside the border we are going to the starting cell point number three if there is no place for the example here then we have to go to the we have to shift upside we will write four here and if there is no place in the corner also the same rule if there is no place we have to shift upside seven should be here where should be eight diagonally down but again out of the border line so it is coming here eight and where should be nine diagonally downwards but outside the border line so we should go to the starting cell this is the rule for framing a magic square of 3 by 3 or 5 by 5 order right i hope it is clear to you now we are making one 5 by 5 order magic square but i will not complete it you should complete let us just start and see how we can do it as per our rule we are writing one here two diagonally downwards but it is out of the border we are going to the starting cell two diagonally down three diagonally down four but it should be coming to the starting cell four then five should be diagonally downwards where should be six you see already it is occupied so six should be shifted upside as per the rule number three six seven eight where should be nine nine is here ten here but now eleven we don't have any place to write 11 here so what is the rule rule number three if no place then we should shift upside 11 12 13 14 15 in the corner we'll be following the third rule that is 16 should be written upside i kept it blank now what you should do you should try yourself and make a magic square of 5 by 5 order the same way you can make 7 by 7, 9 by 9, any odd number magic square you can make yourself if you follow these three basic rules. I hope it is clear to you all. We will meet in our next session with the second part of magic square that is 4 by 4 order magic square. Until then, goodbye. Have a nice day.